Can I get a whoop whoop for a free gift? Woo! Hello, this is day five of VEDA, video every day in August, and my name is Danielle, and I am the founder of Make Them Mainstream, helping parents and educators recruit and retain females in STEM, and STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. So I really like to give out free stuff because free stuff is awesome, so today I have another free gift for you. This gift is going to help you get to know your students just a little bit better and also get you some data so you can go out there and be the best STEM teacher that you can be. We want to get to know our students because if we don't know them, then we can't really effectively teach them. And we also want to try to get to know them and pick their brain so we can take what they say and then turn it into awesome curriculum, learning plans, classroom material, activities, whatever your mind can come up with. So I compiled a very, very small list of questions that may seem trivial, but are really going to effectively help you teach STEM. And so I put this in a get to know your students questionnaire that you can find a link to and download in the description. I highly recommend that you print out this questionnaire and bring it to your classroom to have them fill out in class or send it home for homework. Also, if you're a parent, this would be a great questionnaire to print out or to download and email for your student's teacher and then send them this video as well so they know what is the what. As an educator, you get to spend a lot of quality time with your students. And during this time, you definitely get to know your students pretty well. But sometimes what slips our mind or what gets too busy is that we know our students, but we don't really analyze the data that they are giving us. And so that is why I wanted to create this questionnaire for you and then give you ways to actually analyze their results and ways to implement what they say into your classroom. And this is especially important to gather this data and their responses if you are new to teaching STEM. I know that a lot of schools have now switched to a STEM or even to a STEAM curriculum, but there hasn't been much guidelines in how to effectively do that. So when we ask our students these questions and we get to know them, what we're really doing is having them tell us how they need to learn and what they need to learn so you can really grasp the new concept of teaching STEM education. Okay, so the very first question is, what do you do in your free time? Now, this is a great question to ask anyone when you are first meeting them because it shows that you know that they have a life outside of school and it also allows you to find a commonality with your students. And when you find this commonality, it helps you form better relationships and connections with your students. But that's not the real reason for this question. The real reason for this question is to help you formulate ideas for activities in class or ways to connect problems to the people, place, and things that they have in their lives in order to make a real world connection to STEM. Connecting STEM to everyday life and even more effectively to their everyday life allows them to connect the dots. It allows them to become more STEM literate and see STEM in every facet of their life. And that's what we want because STEM is a way of life. The next question on the questionnaire is, what makes a really good teacher? And you might be really surprised at what they have to say. Now, I'm not gonna go too much in depth to this. Instead, I included a link to a TED Talk called What Makes a Good Teacher? And it's not because I'm lazy and don't wanna explain it to you, but this TED Talk is what inspired this entire questionnaire. And so I really want you to see from another teacher's perspective what they have to say and why they think this question is important. The next question is the exact opposite of the last question, and that is, what makes a not so good teacher? Knowing what they think makes a really good teacher just isn't enough, but when you ask what makes a not so good teacher, to put it nicely, gives you important information. 
it allows you to know what to avoid, what habits that you might have, and do some really good personal reflection. And that's helpful when you are going into a new type of teaching style because when you know what your good strengths are and you know what your weaknesses are, then you can formulate a curriculum that really fits for you so you can be the most effective teacher that you can be. The next question to ask is one of my favorites, and that's if you had to teach this subject, how would you do it or what would you do? And I love this question because it's a secret ninja move. When you are asking them how they would teach the subject that you are trying to teach, what they're really telling you is what kind of learner they are. And understanding what kind of learner they are is vital, vital information to understand how to effectively teach them. For example, if you have a group of students who's all saying, well, if I was teaching this subject, I'd do a lot of activities with building, then what you should be thinking is, okay, how do I incorporate building into my STEM curriculum? Something you could do is when you're talking about the engineering design process is have your students build a bridge out of straws. And actually, I had to do this for one of my upper division classes in college to get my mechanical engineering degree. We were given a certain amount of straws, the bridge had to be a certain length, and be able to hold a certain amount of weight. So, if you teach your students how to do this or have them do this particular activity, then what you're doing is really, really giving them a leg up for when they go to college and have to do the exact same project. The next question I have, I have a very good reason for having, so I don't want you to get so concerned about it. And the question is, if you do something good, how do you want to be rewarded? Okay, before you protest, let me please explain why this question is on here. So, you're not necessarily going to be giving them the goodies that they are requesting in this question. Instead, you are going to be thinking about how do I incorporate those goodies into my curriculum? So, let's say you have a group of students who says, I want candy when I do something good. Now you think, all right, how do I incorporate candy? Something you could do is when you are looking at the engineering design process, you could show videos about how candy is made or manufactured. Or if you're introducing the scientific method, then you could have students break out into groups and try to hypothesize about the taste of a certain candy. So step one would be observe. What does the wrapper say? What does it look like? Step two would be to ask questions about the candy. So this could be something that you have the students do, or this could be something that you prepare in advance as prompts. Step three is to have the students hypothesize about the taste of the candy from the observations and the questions that they had. Step four is to test the candy, and this is the fun part because this is where the tasting comes in. Step five is analyze the results. So have your students either write down or collaborate with each other and talk with each other about their results. Like, were they wrong? Were they right? What did it actually taste like? And then step six is to present the results. So you can have students, again, do this written or have them verbally present their findings to you. These are just some questions to get to know your students and to get ideas and activities for you to teach STEM this school year. If you have questions or if you want more ways to integrate STEM into your curriculum, then you can email me at danielleconnolly at makethemmainstream.com. I have included my email in the description or you can see it right here. I have an entire course where we integrate STEM into your specific curriculum in less than seven days. So if you're interested in learning more about that, then please send me an email. In the comment section, I'd love to hear about questions that you ask your students to get to know them and questions that you ask them so you can integrate them into your curriculum. And if you know another teacher who could use this downloadable questionnaire, then please share this video. If you are getting ready for a new STEM school year, then hit that like button. And if you love this video and want to learn even more ways on how to integrate STEM into your curriculum or female STEM education, then please consider subscribing. 
Every Wednesday, I talk about an influential female in STEM, and every Thursday, I talk about female STEM education. So, you don't want to miss out on that, so that's why you should subscribe. But also, it's VEDA, so there's a video every single day, and there's such, such good stuff planned, and I don't want you to miss out. So, with all that being said, I hope this video was super helpful for you, and I will see you tomorrow. Happy learning!